Greetings everyone. Welcome to e e Learning Hub, where I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for our question to, from the 2019 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass paper. So let's begin. It says, figure one shows a typical single line, one line diagram for the electrical power distribution to a small manufacturing plant labeled A to F. So this is figure one, the one line diagram. And as you can see, it's labeled A to F. All right, so let's look at part A of question two. So it says, identify each of the components labeled A, B, C, D, E, and F in figure one. All right. So A is the fuse and neutral link. B is the watt hour meter. C is the main disconnect switch. And D is the main distribution board. E is a subdistribution board for single phase lighting and outlet circuits. F is a a subdistribution board for three phase motor circuits. All right, so that's it for part A. Let's move on to part B. So it says, make a neat sketch of each of the following. Part one of B, a DC pulsating portion of a sinusoidal voltage waveform. All right, so this is the diagram of the pulsating portion of a sinusoidal voltage waveform. Part two of B, it says on AC sinusoidal voltage waveform, identifying the peak to peak value of the voltage waveform. All right, so here's the diagram of the AC waveform. And looking at the diagram, you can see where peak to peak is. So it's from the maximum point on the positive side of the waveform to the maximum point on the negative side of the waveform. All right, so that's peak to peak. All right, so let's move on to part C now. So it says, if the positive peak value of a sinusoidal voltage waveform is 100 volt, part one of C, calculate the value of its RMS voltage. So VRMS is equal to VP, which is the voltage at the maximum point multiplied by the RMS volume. So the RMS value is 0 0.7071. So VP is 100 volt times the RMS value, and that will give us 70.71. Part 2C, it says indicate the value of the RMS voltage on your graph in part 2 of B. All right, so here's part 2 of B. So the RMS value would lie just about here on the waveform. All right, so let's move on to part three now. It says, calculate the value of the average voltage for this waveform. So V average equal to V peak times the average value, which is 0 0.637. And the average value and the RMS value, these are constant. This value doesn't change, all right? So V average is equal to 100 volt times 0 0.637. That will give us 63.7 volt. Part 4C, it says indicate the value of the average voltage on your graph in part two of B. So this is the point where the average value would be just below the RMS volume. All right, so that's it for this question.